Republican voters in North Carolina took to the polls in greater numbers than four years ago, while Democratic turnout sagged. Together those two factors carried Donald Trump to victory over Vice President Kamala Harris, notching the third time he has carried the state. The Associated Press called the race for Trump at 11.18 p.m. after it became clear that there weren't enough outstanding votes left in Democratic-leaning areas of North Carolina for Harris to overtake his lead. To do so, she would have needed to garner almost 60% of the remaining vote. The Associated Press has called the first of the seven battleground states in this year's presidential election, and it goes for Donald Trump. North Carolina and its 16 electoral votes go in Trump's column. It is the third straight time Trump has won in North Carolina. The previous two races were by narrow margins, but that doesn't matter at this point. 16 electoral votes out of those 93 for the seven battleground states. Donald Trump has claimed it. We are still waiting on those other six states to be called. On the night before Election Day, Celebrities including Oprah Winfrey and Lady Gaga turned out in force for Kamala Harris's presidential bid. Harris and Donald Trump closed out this year's presidential race with a fierce battle for Pennsylvania on Monday, making their final pitch to voters across a state that could prove decisive in the campaign for the White House. Harris ended her night in Philadelphia at the Art Museum steps made famous in the movie Rocky, where she said, the momentum is on our side. She also rallied with supporters in Allentown, Scranton and Pittsburgh, and she swung through reading to visit a Puerto Rican restaurant and do a little canvassing herself, knocking on doors alongside campaign volunteers. For more than half of this country's life, women didn't have a voice, Gaga said to the crowd in Philadelphia. Today I am holding in my heart all the tough, tenacious women who made me who I am. I cast my vote for someone who will be a president for all for all Americans. And now, Pennsylvania, it's your turn. Pennsylvania has the most electoral college votes of any battleground state, making it the top prize of the campaign. A victory there would clear a path to White House for either candidate. For more than half of this country's life, women didn't have a voice. Yet we raised children, we held our families together, we supported men as they made the decisions. But tomorrow, women will be a part of making this decision. Today, I am holding in my heart all the tough, tenacious women who made me who I am. I cast my vote for someone who will be a president for all, for all Americans. And now, Pennsylvania, it's your turn. The country is depending on you. So tomorrow, let's make sure all your voices are heard. Come on, let's go! I am here with 10 first-time voters for Philadelphia! If we don't show up tomorrow, it is entirely possible that we will not have the opportunity to ever cast a ballot again. And let me be very clear, if you do not make sure that the people in your life can get to the polls, that is a mistake. Deciding not to decide, that is most definitely a vote to let other people control your future. Now, all, we all know what we're voting against. So I want to end by reminding you about a few things that we're voting for. We are voting to defend and protect the Constitution of the United States. We are voting for values. We are voting for values and integrity. We are voting for the right to choose what happens to our own bodies. We are, we are voting 
to save ourselves from this precipice of danger where we now stand. All the anxiety and the fear you're feeling, you're feeling that because you sense the danger and you change that with your vote. We are voting for healing over hate. Always good to be back in the city of brotherly love. Where the foundation of our democracy was forged. And here at these famous steps, a tribute to those who start as the underdog and climb to victory. So America comes down to this. One more day, just one more day in the most consequential election of our lifetime, and the momentum is on our side. Our campaign has tapped into the ambitions and the aspirations and the dreams of the American people. We are optimistic and we are excited about what we can do together. And we know it is time for a new generation of leadership in America.